guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing a foundation review on the Maybelline liquid mousse foundation now the first few clips that I recorded of me giving a little bit of information on the foundation itself have been deleted I have no idea where they're gone and the clips that I'm gonna show you now is from when I have applied one layer of the foundation with my sponge and then another layer with the brush from real techniques so I'm just gonna put that in and we're gonna start from there so I'll see y'all guys in a little bit all right so this is the second layer with the brush and it definitely covered up a lot of the imperfections that I had on my face they're not overly dark so I think it did a pretty good job however my preference would be to have one layer of foundation um, over color correcting so I'm gonna go ahead and just put another layer on this side of my face and I'll be right back this is what two layers looks like with my sponge um yeah i don't really see a big difference with either side to me they both look the same i'm very surprised because usually the brush would deliver a little bit more coverage than the sponge but however i think that this particular formula that both sides look evenly good to me so if you want to use a sponge or if you want to use a brush it's totally up to you so i'm just going to let the foundation set i'm going to put on my eyebrows and my lipstick and i will be back to finish my Alright guys, so I just finished my face, eyebrows, put on some lashes because my extensions are looking like a hot mess. Alright, a little bit of lipstick. Lipstick is from Colourpop. This is in the Colour Avenue. Ooh. The Colour Avenue. So it matches my nails and my shirt because we matching today. Um, so I don't have on my fan right now and <laughs> it's really hot. And I started to perspire around my nose. Uh, you're going to see if I can zoom in a little bit. but. It looks like beads, it's beads of water pretty much sitting on top of the foundation is a little odd to me. So I'm just going to take a tissue and blot, but that's just a little bit odd. I suspect that this foundation is going to slip all over the place. Um, I really did like how it looked when I first put it on. I also realize like around my mouth where it's like by the corners here it's starting to settle or kind of like accentuate those little crevices in there so I'm just going to take the sponge on both sides and just blend that in but I'll say that I'm not 100% a fan of how it settles into my smile lines it looked really good when I first put it on but this is about mm, 10 minutes after and I'm not sure how I feel about that it looks good but hmm not sure how I feel about that I know for a fact when I put on my shades it's gonna transfer like crazy no two ways about it I can already feel that because I've had this on like I said for about 10 minutes or so and it's still tacky like a foundation kind of feeling so I'm just gonna take my tissue and do a little bit of blotting otherwise I like the finish of it it looks very natural However, I don't like the feeling of it. It feels a little bit more tacky than even the black opal one that I reviewed two days ago. Not a big fan of that. Anyhow, let's finish up the face. I'm just going to put on some mineralized skin finish. I'm going to use a little bit of my Queen Collection bronzer. And I'm going to use a little, little, little bit of this blush from, this blush from Jordana. It's called Warm Cider just to give a little bit more dimension to my face I'm not gonna contour or anything like that I'm just gonna do those very very simple things to try to get my face together yeah so I have a few thoughts about this foundation I do prefer it with one one layer I, I think two layers to me is a bit much it doesn't really um, dry down the way how I would want it to 
it's not bad but it's just like a regular foundation it doesn't dry to a matte finish it never claimed to dry to a matte finish so we can't really judge it on that also when i was doing my eyebrows and i had finished and i did my lipstick i realized that when i was sweating it actually came up like little balls of sweat on top of my nose i guess a lot of foundations do that but that's the first time that i really really noticed it i feel like it kind of made my foundation look kind of weird around the, the nose portion of it I'm not sure like how it how it looks when you start to stretch. Anyhow, I'm gonna get ready, go to class, and then I'm going to go to tell my mother, and then I'm gonna go to my mother's house. So I'll keep checking in with you guys. But right now, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. But yeah, guys, what do you think? All right, guys. So I'm doing a check-in now, trying to find an angle that isn't totally lit. So I am oily. Can you see this? I am oily and I just used my phone. And let me see if I could show you. Do you see all that foundation marks? Oh, and there's my mom calling me. One second. I'm very oily. Um, you see what time it is? It's 12.34. I'm going to try to blot now. Let me see if I can blot. And take off some of the shine. Because this shine is not sexy. Alright, so guys, I'm just letting you know now, if you wear this foundation, you're going to have to set it with a hairspray to help with the transfer. I know some of this as well is my matte mineralized skin finish because that has a tendency to transfer as well. But the truth is, I don't put a lot of that on. So, that is not... After a while of me pressing and patting. So that's me. No. Blockhead, I think it looks pretty good. My bronzer and stuff is still on. I'm looking at my rear view mirror. My bronzer and blush is still on. Probably this is not the best angle. And I like the finish of it. The finish of it is very natural. I have not highlighted my face or contoured or anything like that. Just bronzer and a little bit of blush. And I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna check back with you guys when I get spiked down. And uh yeah, I must see you in a bit. Hey guys, how are you doing? It is now three minutes past three. I'm checking in with you guys. I'm feeling a little oily. Actually, I'm feeling very sweaty. Oily, yes, I am oily as hell. So I'm just gonna blot hair with you guys. And the foundation, I feel like especially around my nose and stuff like that, I feel like it's coming off. It could just be me, but I'm feeling a little extra dewier than normal. So I'm just blocking, and even though I block, yes, it takes away all the excess oil and stuff like that. <laughs> but I still I'm looking luminous, it still looks natural. You could tell I'm wearing makeup and yeah, it's sorta of accentuating my pores and stuff like that. So I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that, but I don't like this foundation with two pumps. I did two pumps today and I don't like it, so I will check in with you guys at the end to give you my final thoughts about this foundation, but yeah, otherwise, it's okay, but not the best that I've ever had, right? Hey guys, so I'm sorry if this light... I'm sorry if this lighting isn't the best. Um, I'm at my mom's house now, and yeah, I have a few things to say about this foundation. It, even with the primer that I had, although I think I need to change my primer now, even with the primer that I had, my oil is still peeking through, and also I feel like it doesn't really um, fill in my pores per se. It's supposed to be pore perfecting, but I have like some big pores and. I find them to be a little bit enlarged <sighs> generally speaking after a while when the oil started to get through on my face I just felt greasy I felt like it was really really oily and I don't know guys I think I might need to use a heavier duty type um, primer or something like that and definitely maybe a second spray as well so I'll have to say that this is not my favorite foundation it's okay I think it would be better for persons who have drier skin drier to maybe even normal skin but oily skin girls y'all are not gonna like this one 
you're gonna have to do a lot of stuff you're gonna have to work hard to make this foundation look nice all the time it's a nice foundation I like the color I like how it smooths on it blends really well I love how it kind of um, blocks out the discoloration and stuff like that it's not the fullest coverage but I feel as though if you put on too much like I did I did two layers I don't really like what I saw there so um, yeah that's pretty much what I have to say about this I'm gonna try it again to give it a second chance but for right now my first impression is that I don't really fancy this so much it's not one that I would really reach for but the color is pretty good maybe if I'm doing something a little more short term probably I will put it on if I have to wear it for like two hours or something and I have to look nice maybe if I'm filming a video a video sorry I would use it but for uh, going out in the elements in Barbados and stuff like that you're gonna have to blot you're gonna have to do a lot of stuff so yeah guys I'm not a big fan of this I hope you enjoyed this review let me know what you think down in the comment box below and I will see y'all in my next video bye